was I've had, yeah? I've had every Disney character has been a bloke. I had Aladdin. Then I had a leader yeah. one, which was <laughs> what athlete would I be? And I was a bench warmer. Oh, you know what? There's a Nando's one. You did? Yeah. How spicy are you? Okay, I'm going to all that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no chance. You just don't like yours. I've got plain, mate. <laughs> uh, plain. Not even lemon and herb, mate. Plain. Plain. West Ham see out 2019 with a thumping win at Rush Green. And with a new year kicking off, there's one more chance for the Hammers to bag some silverware. The FA Cup. Round draw of the women's FA Cup. For the first ball is number 23. Number 23 is West Ham. They'll be playing number one. Of course, that's Arsenal, top of the WSL table. What a, what a draw. They got all the way to the final last year, West Ham, and they're going to be playing the team that have won the FA Cup 14 times. Wow. Last year's dramatic cup run put the Hammers in front of a TV audience of millions. West to Wembley in their first season as a pro club. This year, they'll be taking on the reigning league champions, Arsenal. But West Ham are still pulling out all the stops in the hope of returning to Wembley. All right, how are you? You all right? Taking advantage of the January transfer window, they've splashed out on two new players. What, which house? My wife. 19-year-old Swedish international, Philippa Wallen, No, the way. We got here then? Yeah, we're good. And 21-year-old rising England youth star Grace Fisk. How do you feel? Yeah, good. Yeah, that was all. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but with the temperature dropping, another type of season has already started. It's like I'm only healthy one around here. The team is sick. <laughs> the winter flu season. I don't feel I have any muscles left in my body. Fabulous. <laughs> Just what you need for football. It's hard having you in an environment like this, though, because you can you can hand sanitise, you can do whatever, but if you're going to catch it, you're going to catch it, do you know what I mean? Well, we won't have a meeting until after... Uh, I know who's trading and who's not trading, because at the moment I've got nine that uh, heal. Catherine got rushed to hospital last night, so... Oh. We haven't got a keeper at the moment. No. What kind of worst case scenario do you think? I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. I've never in all my life experienced anything like it in football. You know, we had one house where all four of them were off the same day. The team have less than three weeks until their FA Cup campaign begins. So their next league game this weekend against Everton should be a chance for Matt to test his squad. Hey, I'm sorry, but I'm so in. I'm so in, you know. But with a sick team, general manager Russ is trying to make use of an FA rule. If 13 players or more are signed off with a doctor's note, the match can be postponed. Try three sources of the FA now, all of which are on uh, answer phone or holiday response. If they're real, we should send them home, though. The ones that have been, who have. We ain't watching today, anyway, have we? Optional. OK. Do we have cut? Yeah. Put the line in and everything, eh? I, I generally think we should play, generally. I'd be amazed if they turn around and say you can't. I think this is a complete freak of nature situation. It's kind of... can't be legislated for when it's just... you've got so many players out with the virus. So, of the, of the nine that train, how many have pulled out three? Julie's come in, yeah. but the other four are still struggling. Yeah. So, so we, we don't like six players. All right, I'll call him. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Tessa. Shouldn't be a problem. OK. 
So, all right. So, uh, so we can assume that we're cancelling and we're going to get you the the de doctor's letter. Right. It's done. It's off. Off. Yeah. Welcome. Yep, this is it, pretty much. With Sunday's match cancelled, a few days off to recover means a chance for a big reshuffle in the club's shared housing. I literally don't even know if I'm allowed to bang in <laughs> nails to this wall, but whatever. Russ will find out eventually. Having spent the past three years at a US college studying and playing football, New signing Grace has bagged a room in one of the club's houses. So I graduated college the 16th, 17th of December, something like that, and then I've got, got on a flight the next day. So yeah, it's kind of been all go. It's funny that I have two, like, London posters. As if I'm very patriotic. <laughs> you know, I like to show the Americans that I'm British. Ta-da! Looks so much more homely already. As one player arrives from the US, across the hallway, another is heading back. Can you feel this and see if it feels like 50 pounds? After 18 months with the Hammers, fellow defender Brooke Hendricks has been sold in the transfer window to Washington Spirit. And what are they like? Um, I have no clue, honestly. They suck. But I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> you're not supposed to say I have no clue. You're supposed to research them. Oh, yeah, my bad. Just yeah. pretend. Being American, uh, it'd be nice to be seen by the national team, maybe. Just to be near my home as well. So when the opportunity came, Matt was really nice about it and really helped me make a decision that was going to be best for me. No, it's going to be sad. I mean, it'll be different not having her here all the time. Yeah. Who are you going to miss the most, Brooke? Can I say these two? No, yeah. you have to pick one. OK, fine, Jilly. <laughs> oh, wow. Can we just leave? We'll just, we'll just go. Okay, yeah, peace out. See you later. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Making way for the new signings, West Ham diehard Kate Longhurst is moving for the third time this season. Yeah, so I have a lot of stuff. Just putting it everywhere at the moment, so I'm sure the girls are happy about that. I actually don't even know where to start. So, because I need to make my clothes rail to put all my clothes in. I'm trying to save for a house, so it's kind of just trying to save money where I can. But it's quite hard when you're a footballer, a woman footballer, because you don't earn a lot of money. So I've been saving for a bit, but it's still hard to... Yeah, I can't afford something on my own right now. The average salary for a player in the WSL is £27,000 per year, a world away from the wages on offer in the professional men's game. There's just so much money in men's football because you've got an audience of billions of people, so they can pump billions of pounds into it. It's definitely going in the right direction, but I think, of course, there's not going to be as much money because you're not getting as many fans consistently. I would never expect to be getting paid what men's football is getting because it's not realistic. I mean, our clubs would just go bust if we earned that sort of money. The harsh reality of women's football is that most of the teams in the WSL struggle to make a profit, and their growth can be reliant on cash from the men's teams and their Premier League status. But for West Ham, their time in the top flight is looking uncertain. The English Premier League club West Ham have sacked their manager, Manuel Pellegrini. They have been on a really disastrous run of form nine defeats in their last 12 matches has left them just a point and a place above the relegation zone. The club released the following statement. Joint chairman David Sullivan said the change is required to get the club back on track. Now in his second season as managing director of a WSL team, Work's getting a lot tougher for 20-year-old Jack. I go to Dad over everything, but he's busy at the moment. With the men's, and unfortunately, they're fighting a relegation battle. 
But I, at the moment, for me, like I look at women's football, and I think it's not sustainable, really, in, in my in my opinion. A few honest conversations with some of the players, and um, and we we've, we're speaking to them now about uh, what we'd have to do to keep them. Some we won't. Some will wait a bit longer, where they've had injuries and they might need longer to get back, and we'll see what they're like. If the men's were fourth in the table, I think it would change things. I think that is the problem with women's football, to be honest with you. With their illness behind them, Matt has one last chance to test his refresh squad before their cup campaign begins. Chance to snatch all three points. Would you believe it? A frantic finish by West Ham. Back to back home wins in the Barclays FAWSL for West Ham. Despite a boost in confidence from the weekend's game, just days before the FA Cup campaign kicks off, there's a shock announcement for the club. Right, so before we go through the clips, I'm just going to pass you over to Mr Fraser. I'll get straight to the point. Just let you know that I've resigned from my role. So I've loved working with you all. I think you're a really gr good group of players. Just time to move on, so I just want to let you know. OK. <laughs> After just over a year as general manager, Russ is moving on to another club. Well, you know, I hope you move on to bigger and better things, but yeah. I appreciate all that you did for me here, so... Perfect. Thank you. Thanks, Russ. I spoke with Jack on Friday. Well, actually, to be honest, it had been rumbling on for a, a while. We'd been speaking about budgets and players, but I've been, I've been frustrated and opportunities come up. Can you say where you're going, or...? Um, I don't want to just yet because it's all still being going through paperwork. I still want West Ham to win. I still want, you know, I'd love them to get to the cup final again. We've got a good working relationship and um, obviously I'm going to miss him. He's going to be a tough act to follow, but the frustrating thing for me is, you know, I've been a year and a half and this has been like being a third general manager, so. He's got reasons for, for moving on. As I said to him, the grass isn't always greener. He's been given a promotion, or probably two promotions, where, where he's going to. We realise it's not ideal, but at the same time, what, what can you do? You want people here who want to be here. Oh, hello. I just got rid of my microphone, OK? I think I can't train with this. Hello, one, two, one, two. Outside of management squabbles, one player who's left uncertain of her future with the Hammers is 30-year-old German midfielder Julia Simic. Currently out injured, Julia's contract runs out at the end of the season and she hasn't made a first-team start in a year. It's hard, like, to come here and smile every day, but this is what I, what I try, just bringing something to the team. And it's like um, making the best out of this situation. Julia is one of West Ham's biggest stars, and Matt is desperate to have her back in the starting eleven. What's, go what's going on with her? Because we seem to be protecting her again. Why is she not on the pitch? She's had the injection. What's the difference now? It's just because, like, when we did the testing, there's still some things that were missing. Yeah, so she's not in full training yet, but she will be. That's. The but I, I don't see her in any training. If I wouldn't have asked for her to be in that 11 v 11 the other day, she wouldn't have been in it. I don't see her doing any training with us. Am I wrong here? I don't see her doing enough, me personally. I think we're smoddy now. I disagree. Only from an overload perspective. We can't go back. No, no, but I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, why can't she do the woman? Why can't she do the first parts of the sessions and then come out? She's not even doing that. But that's what I'm saying. I, I, I need to know what the structure is, because I'm getting another month gone and I'm still no, none the wise what's going on. This has got to be sorted sooner rather than later. All right. I had some injuries already in this knee, so it's just maybe not the best knee anymore as well. Yeah, I'm not the youngest anymore as well. You're 22 and 
have a long-term injury or something, it's a little bit easier, I would say, than have one when you're 30 and you don't really know, oh, can I make it back to the pitch? Can I still play? Right now, I'm a little bit like, don't know what I'm going to do in the summer. So if I could, like, I would, I would keep playing football. But maybe it's just done for me as well with football. I played now, what, what was 14, 15 years. But you still love the game so much, so you would, I would never just say, I'm stopping now because I would, I, I would play 10 more years if I could. Oh my God, a big chance for West Ham. Yes. Oh, oh. Julia lives with her West Ham teammate, Alicia Lehman. Oh, West Ham! Woo! And Alicia's girlfriend, Chelsea striker Ramona Backman. Scored in the last minute. What's it like living with a couple? I thought it's uh, gonna be harder, but I think right now it, it works out because we were both friends, like Rami and I were friends before I know Alicia. We've actually been roomies in Wolfsburg, yeah, so. We have a really good friendship. And I'm really close to Alicia as well, so I'm like the third wheel, yes. <laughs> I'm just always there. Like she's like my family, I think. You know, always, you know, always <laughs> with your family. Now, because my, fam my whole family is Switzerland, so it's nice to have someone else. Like, you know, I can speak, I can tell her everything I want, and um, so it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like... Huh? It looks like a moth. I look really small And she looks like Scooby Doo, this woman from Scooby Doo. <laughs> yes. So this is my little room. Nothing special, no? I think that was the last uh, match I've, I've done. Like I was player of the year, uh, of of the month December last season. Yeah, someone voted for me, obviously. So I took it. I thought I got a car or something, but yeah, I need to clean this. I think. Really proud of this, you know. Aftermath of Russ's resignation and ahead of the big cup tie against Arsenal, Jack decides to address the players. Um, yeah, so good morning, guys. Um, hopefully a win on Sunday and we get back to Wembley. Um, I just wanted to basically say, obviously, you all know Russ is going. He spoke to you all on um, Tuesday. I just wanted to basically say to you guys, like, look, the ambition of the club is still to push forward and, and to be as competitive as we can be. Um, if you look where we've come in the last 18 months, we've literally come from not having a professional team to now having all of you guys challenging every single week against the top division. Russ is leaving, yes, and he's, he's been brilliant for the year that he's been here. Um, but we're looking forward to what the future holds and we're hoping that as many of you are, are on that journey with us. Um, and, I, yeah, I just wanted to basically say that to you guys. And uh, I'll, leave you, I'll leave you to speak to Matt and he can uh, talk you through all of this stuff. But, no. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Got a lot of presents. It's not all for me. This is a jacket. This is a present for Kata's birthday. I have a contract, and you have a person that it works for you, so he knows what I like. She's going to be a fashion model. Trust, <laughs> trust me. How are you feeling about the week ahead? So good. We play Arsenal, so it's really a good game to play. It's one of the best team here. And you can get to the final again. I hope. I want to live this. I really want to live this. It's the toughest draw that you can get, but we're setting up to win the game. You know, we want to progress in the tournament. Yeah, we gonna push it up a level higher. Yeah, it's time to push it up a level higher. If you watch Arsenal from the weekend, they were unsettled. They was all moaning and this, that and the other. You're going to be getting in amongst them. You're going to be getting in their faces, not letting them play. I'm excited. Obviously, the FA Cup means a lot, especially this team, seeing how far they got last year. It'd be amazing to get to the final again and win it all this time and go hard or go home. What happens to the season if you get 
knocked out of this FA Cup. Luckily for the Hammers, there is some positive news from the treatment room. Yeah, that's good. This is really me, the new me. The strong me. After a year of battling her injury, Julia has been given the green light to return to the starting 11. She had an injection, she's fit. We've just got to get the match sharpness into her. If the testing wouldn't have been as positive as it was, then it probably would have been curtain. I honestly had a lot of days where I thought uh, I never, I never play again. And what is a mouth-watering FA Cup fourth round tie? It's an all London affair. West Ham United women against Arsenal women. Fourteen time winners. The two sides being led out here at Rush Green. The big team news from a West Ham perspective is that after a year on the sidelines following a horrendous knee injury, German midfielder Julia Simic is back in the Claret and Blue starting 11. A new signing, Grace Fiss, brought in from the University of South Carolina. It's going to be the youngster's first taste of FA Cup competition. Chuck her out. <laughs> and it's West Ham going to get us underway. Oh. Misplaced pass, poor communication there from West Ham. And oh, Luke looks for a yellow shirt. There's McCabe, rise the challenge, shooting opportunity. Top corner! So West Ham, a goal down. We're going to have to come from behind against the mightily impressive Arsenal in order to keep their FA Cup hopes alive. Lots of needless mistakes really costing West Ham in possession. Lehman. Darley continues a run, gets to the byline. Simic has got a hand up. Head it! White! How have you done that, Werner? How have you A glorious opportunity there for West Ham. And the German knows it. And the whistle goes for half time. West Ham nil, Arsenal won. Last year's finalists, remember, West Ham. Their manager, Matt Beard's got one hell of a team talk ahead of him. Why has it taken us 30 minutes to start believing in ourselves with our play? Why? You're scared! What have they done to you today so far? Have they torn you to pieces? Have they really f***ing opened you up? Stand your f***ing ground. Have no fear <laughs> getting their faces. Put your bodies on the line, be brave. Have a bit of bite, you. Show a bit of character. Show a bit of f***ing togetherness. You do not roll over for them. So f***ing knock them out. You get together and go. Hey, come on. Come on, yeah. to get underway in the second half here. Just 45 minutes for West Ham to turn this around. Go on, go on, lock up, lock up, lock up. 
Get in, get in! You can hear Matt Beard barking instructions for his team to press and get forwards in search of this equaliser. 2 0 win, 1 0 still in the game. West Ham simply showing Arsenal far too much respect here. Hey, come on, keep going, come on! It's a good cross. Little gets ahead on it. Darley's first to react, juggles it, strikes off! Oh! Rattles the stanchion. That's how close she was to drawing West Ham level. No corner which Mead will take, out swinging. Walty on the volley, in off the post, and that's going to seal it. Two soft goals. Two soft goals. And that's it, full time here at Rush Green. Matt Beard, who guided his side all the way to Wembley last year, they were beaten finalists. This year's FA Cup campaign ends at the very first time of asking. No doubt they'll reflect on that golden opportunity for Julia Simic with the Hammers' best opportunity of the game. Yeah, that was my first game since, I don't know, 12 months or something. Devastated a little bit as well. It's just like I missed the last FA Cup final and I wanted it so bad as well to just have this experience and. At the end, you know what a big chance you had, and you missed it a little bit, and I don't know. Obviously, we're still in a place on the table where we're not really secured, so we still have to win something, and this is staying in the league. I'm just disappointed that we didn't have a go. It should take to half time for me to go in and have a pop at them, for them to, to do what we're asking. It's happened a lot over the course of the season, so I need to get to the bottom of it. We're in a relegation battle at the moment, so we need to pick as many points up as we can. Who's next? Chelsea. Thoughts on them? Better than Arsenal, so it's going to be a tough game. Chelsea! 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 Score is right there. And then struck towards the end. Back to the England! Does it again for Chelsea! And they clutch up for a goal! This is brutal, absolutely brutal. We've still got half an hour to go. 